Welcome to the Road Essentials tutorial to change your colors of the road markings. It's very very easy and thanks for purchasing um, this pack. So we continue not with the white lines here because they are very default in Europe at least. Uh, we go to the yellow ones because they are already present in your pack. You can already cho choose them and uh, they stand mostly for uh, construction sites and for temporary uh, road markings. At least in Germany. Maybe it's different in your country, but if you wanna maybe add, I don't know, yellow or green or more, or more orange uh, road markings, I have no idea, you can go into your content drawer, you go into your road essentials folder, here you go into the materials folder, instances, and here we go to markings. And when we do this, we find here a lot of materials, like restriction, we can fully ignore this. We have line markings invisible, this makes just here the lines invisible. We can add it for example and you see the line is gone. What is a very nice thing if you want to merge some roads or want to build in the sections. So, but to continue with our work, we can also add here some different examples. For example, line 1. This is the, is the default one, we can add it to the road and here it's uh, just white. So before you ask me how do you add this stuff to the road, so you can drag and drop this to the road if you have a single or just simple meshes. But I use here landscape splines or you can also use blueprint splines, it doesn't matter, but you have to add this to your blueprint splines um, first then. Working with landscape splines is very easy because we can draw our road. Please check out the first tutorial if you don't know how to do this. And then we can click on our road and we can... Um, Add here a mesh. We did this already. It looks like this on your side. Now we go to material overrides because, yeah, logical, it overrides the uh, road material. And also, of course, our line markings. And then we click here on add element or on the plus. I did this already. Mostly index zero is the road. So we don't want to um, change in this tutorial the road by itself. We do this in a future tutorial. But um, we want to change the, low, uh, the lines here and it depends on your road how the structure of this um, material index uh, is um, or the order of the material indexes um, are set. So for example this road here is a I think RQ925 um, road. And this is a smaller one. So normally you have uh, on federal roads uh, the, opp the opportunity um, to add two middle lines. So the first one and here the second one. In this case I have only one middle line, okay? So this is no problem. Just add here another material slot. You can experiment. Just drag and drop something here and you see uh, changes <coughs> on your roads. So, but to continue with the tutorial. I adhere to index one. This is mostly the left side of the road. A new material. We have here line one which is uh, the default line, the default um, constant uh, line, road line, whatever. Then we have uh, line 1 epsilon, which stands just for yellow. Um, w is for uh, white and epsilon is for yellow. So we have line marking 2, which is just a thicker, a kind of thicker and um, wider um, road line, mostly used for yeah, the outer parts of the road, it depends on your country, whatever. We can uh, experiment by track and drop this and you see the road got a, li a little bit thicker and uh, yeah, of course white. We can also add a line marking to epsilon to add this to yellow and you see we increased the um, width of the road markings. So um, we have here road marking 3 French. Yeah, our French friends um, just or normally use uh, not a constant line like we do in Germany. They have some um, spaces between. I show you this right now. Yeah, it looks like this. Maybe yeah, I, I think it's uh, longer in uh, fr in French, but you can increase the um, length of this by increasing the road size or the length in general. So, but we have here more things like uh, line 4 or line marking 4. This is uh, like a simple middle lane in, or line in uh, Germany. 
So then we have here uh, line 5, which is very interesting because when we add this, we have a smaller variation of the middle line, mostly uh, used uh, when building intersections in the most European countries. And then we have uh, additional stuff here, for example, line 6. Line 6 is uh, very black. This is a very thick tar patch here, um, mostly used when I'm correct in the USA when you have these uh, heavily deep uh, tarmac roads in the desert, for example. And then we have here uh, the version 5. And here we have a default middle uh, line and um, like a stitch <laughs> and a tar patch in the middle, which is nice if you want to variate your road um, style a little bit. Sometimes you use this one, sometimes you use this one, which makes it more yeah, realistic. So, and then we have line 8, which is maybe or maybe not uh, confusing for you. So, this is an experimental uh, road marking. I don't know if it's also in other countries, but in Germany we use this for uh, as experiment because this uh, stuff here or this line uh, should improve the visibility by rain uh, on the road. So, okay, but to change now a road marking, we go, for example, to line marking 1. I, duplic I duplicate this because I don't want to change uh, all um, roads which uses line marking one white uh, in my level. So I duplicate this and I call this line marking one um, underscore uh, tutorial for example. It depends, uh, I should or you should name it like uh, what um, properties you give it. So like um, dirty or cracky, <laughs> cracky, yeah, I don't know if the word even exists, but never mind. So we open this up and here we have now multiple options like um, one underscore settings. We can change here the color. Let's make it in a um, nice orange. Yeah, I would um, recommend you not to go into these uh, extreme colors. Uh, mostly you have to think about that um, these colors uh, I don't know if it's called bleached, but, but um, the sun shines on them and they lose their intensity. So it's not this red, it would be for example this red here, which is more, yeah, it's more chilled. But I want to go to orange and this orange tone here is nice, but I want to um, make a little bit wider, uh, wh whiter, not, not wider, whiter, um, because it looks uh, more normal. I think so. Like this one here. I, I like this. So we have the albedo intensity. You can increase, of course, again, your color or decrease it. But I recommend you to play just with the color tint. So we go to color intensity. We let this or we set this to on because we want to change our color, of course. Then uh, roughness intensity is interesting for people who just want to make their road and also their road uh, markings a little bit wetter. So, for example, we can make it glossy by decreasing the value. You see it getting more glossy. And when we uh, make it, or when we increase the value here, we make it rougher. So, but we ignore this, I like how it is, and we go to the normal intensity. The normal intensity is also very interesting. You can increase by decreasing, it's funny, you can by decreasing this uh, value here, increasing the normal intensity. Or we can um, do it in the other uh, direction and increasing the value and you see here one then it's more like color on the road because yeah it's just flat and if we increase it even more we invert the normal so it seems like stamped to the road yeah yeah let's call it stamped to the road so but I don't want to have this this is because I set it to zero the default option I like it like it is now and yeah let's continue um, we have here the marker type, which can you completely ignore. Just duplicate what type you want to uh, modify. Um, if you have wishes, I can even add more um, yeah, road marking lines. So, and now we can go to crunch. Crunch is a very interesting setting because here we can add a kind of uh, dirtiness. So, we go to crunch mask and here we have crack. So, you can read here cracks. We can add cracks to this um, wonderful road marking and uh, you can increase it to let's say one. Uh, I recommend you really to increase also the crack then if you do it to one in your asphalt material, in the road material because the problem is if you just increase it here 
it maybe looks not so realistic because uh, how it's is, is this one extremely cracked and maybe dirty and the road isn't um, this makes no sense but we can um, increase this uh, gentle and we see here a nice result so we go to crunch a and crunch b crunch a is a really decent amount of um, dirt which can help to make your general road markings on non-dirty roads um, more realistic and crunch b is a more intensified version of this so we can increase this without any problem and you see here we have now dirt we can even increase the scaling of the most stuff here if you just want to make it like this it's so fine i think um 0, 0, 15 is okay but if you want to increase it like this let's go for it so in my case here for this road i want I, I would uh, just increase this very decent because uh, we have a nice road here and yeah with not so much damage we see some cracks here uh, but yeah never mind so this is our example tutorial road marking i hope you liked it and enjoyed it if yes then feel free to uh, let a review here under the video and maybe also if you want under uh, the product on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And uh, thanks for buying again and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask uh, below in the comments or join our product support discord.